hear me okay? Ah, oh, perfect. Hey, so first off, I was told I wasn't allowed to wear a hat today, so that's what y'all are getting to see today. I don't think I've had a haircut since December. I'm trying to look like Ben Affleck is what we're going for. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you, T. Ray, Dr. Dempsey, Matt, Tyler, everybody, Clint, that, that's been thanked today, Ashley, all of you guys, you guys do an amazing job supporting us consistently, daily. Ashley, I'm sure you've sent me 20 emails a day reminding me to do something I always forget to do. Uh, I want to say thank you to my wife and my boys watching online. Guys, I love you. Also, big thank you to our newly hired assistant coach, Joe Epke. really changed since Joe's come aboard, uh, really been able to kind of make the culture shift that we wanted uh, to create a very, very team atmosphere. Uh, I think that the team can see it. I hope that everybody else can kind of see it. Uh, Dr. Dempsey, I really want to thank you for your support coming out and watching us win the conference championship. I know it meant a lot to our players. Um, I'm going to get through this quick. We have a couple of uh, conference awards that I want to recognize, and I've got my own awards here. Um, we had two players on the men's team that were named first team all-conference, uh, Gustavo Marangoni and Andre Baltazar, who were both named first team all-conference. <laughs> and first team all-conference on the women's, women's side, we had Liz Ristizabal. <laughs> on the men's side, the conference player of the year was Andre Baltazar. And on the women's side, the conference player of the year and newcomer of the year was Liz Aris Tizabal. Let's get to the awards, will you? Well, we're going to start with our Team Spirit Award. This is an award that I've not really given uh, much, but we really wanted to instill a loud culture this year. Uh, if I were to yell something right now, I would expect my whole team to respond. We're going to try it. Let's go, what? Beautiful. That's what we are trying to instill here. We want to be the loudest team on the court. Um, so our Team Spirit Award for the men's is Noah Peak. And our Team Spirit Award for the women is Katarina Kalinich. Next two awards we have are the most improved awards. Um, for the men's, this goes to Tommy Two Bags, Tommy Kidwell. And for the women's, Isabella Tarotovic. I've got my MVPs here. Um, I think these awards pretty well speak for themselves. Um, we had Andre go undefeated in conference play, and Gustavo uh, ended up having to lose, just barely lost one match at the end. So our MVP on the men's side is shared between Gustavo Marangoni and Andre Baltazar. And for the women, oh yeah. for the women's, our MVP is Liz Aristizabal.
As far as the tennis seasons continue, um, the men's have qualified for NCCAAs as well as the NAIA National Tournament. Uh, we will leave probably next Saturday or Sunday. As for the women's, we are awaiting the uh, automatic bids or the at-large bids um, to see if Campbellsville makes it to the NCCA or to the NAIAs to see if there'll be a tournament or not. So we uh, we thank you guys for all of your support. I know at one time we've been running live scoring. I know at one point during the conference finals, I looked at it and there were 75 people watching the live scoring. So I, I, that goes out to all, all of you who may have turned in, maybe none of you have tuned in, but I'm gonna thank you anyways for it, so thank you. <laughs> Up next, we have men's and women's golf, Nick Burden. You guys hear me all right? 